Hey guys, ZeroTech00 Zero here, and today I'm gonna test the Malware Bytes Antivirus versus the XCV Safety Malware. It's supposed to be a malware, but this is actually the safe version. That's why I'm very confused because, as you guys can see on the screen, this guy requested me to test XCV Safety, which is actually a safe version of the XCV malware. So that's why I'm a bit confused with this request since, you know. I mean, in general I'm testing actual malwares and this is like a safe version of the malware so that's why I'm a bit confused but anyways, without any further yapping, I'm gonna start to install the Malwarebytes antivirus or anti-malware, I don't know how you guys prefer to call this thing. For me it's an antivirus, all the things that protect the system from a malware for me are in general antiviruses, that's how I call them, they could be anti-malwares, anti spywares I just prefer to call them antiviruses, despite being for other purposes. I mean, as soon as they protect the system from malware, for me they are antiviruses. Anyways, as I said, I'm gonna start to install the malware bytes antivirus, and then we are gonna start the first test. Okay guys, so I just finished installing the malware bytes antivirus. As you guys can see here, we have the we have malware bytes right here. And yeah, this is the interface, nothing unusual, as you guys know, I tested the Malwarebytes antivirus so many times. To be honest, yeah, the UI is actually better, but still, it's very familiar, so it didn't change that much. Anyways, I'm gonna go to settings, and I'm gonna deactivate all the protections, because if I don't... Uh, I, I'm actually gonna show you guys what's gonna happen if I don't... Uh, deactivate the protections because some of you guys might be wondering why the heck I'm deactivating the protections. Well, as you guys can see, all the protections are on. Now if I'm gonna put the malware on desktop, it's most probably gonna be detected. I'm not sure but in general if I drag a malware from the recycle bin uh, onto the desktop when I have the antivirus on, it will do be detected and automatically removed from the antivirus so that's why I keep the protections off when I try to remove the malware from here so yeah anyways unfortunately it didn't get detected so I guess with that I'm gonna jump into the first test so the first test as you guys know it's gonna be with all the protections on all the real time protections as you guys can see web protection, malware and power protection, ransomware and exploit protection so with that I'm gonna run the XC, XCV, sorry about that, uh, safety malware, which is not a malware because it's a safe version, but still, I'm gonna run it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's see. And as we guys can see, it got detected by the malware bytes antivirus. It says right here that it's a malware. So it probably detected that there are some malware types of component slash uh, files in the malware itself which is really interesting let's open the quarantine and i'm actually gonna delete the malware as you guys can see we just deleted it in a snap and now guys i'm gonna start the second test i'm gonna be right back okay guys i'm back so for the second test unfortunately since this antivirus doesn't have a uh, Second protection, as an example, Avast has the behavior shield protection which acts like a second protection. If the file shield protection is off, then the behavior shield protection will act and block slash delete the malware. So that's a very important thing that an antivirus should have. A second protection in case of for some reason the main protection is off, at least the second protection should, should do the job. And unfortunately, as we can see, the malware bytes antivirus uh, only has the malware and pub protection, aka the main protection. The other protections are from ransomware, exploits, and web. So that's a very concerning thing, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, for the second test, I'm gonna uh, obviously have to deactivate this protection, and most probably the system is gonna get unfortunately infected. Uh, we are gonna have to see, but most probably it's gonna be the. Uh, be infected unfortunately, sorry about that. Alright, let's run the supposed to be malware in 3, 2, 1. And there we go, we have the pop-up which says, uh, which it says, sorry about that. Uh, this is a GDI only, click yes to run, click no to exit. Of course we are gonna click yes because we are very smart. 
Are you sure it still contains flashing lights? Not for... I mean, guys, if you have epilepsy, you should skip this part of the video because it's gonna contain some flashing lights and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna click yes, sure. And there we go, guys. As we can see, we got infected. Sort of, because this is not a Mario, but it acts like a Mario. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a scan, but at this point, I think it's pointless to do so. But I st I'm still gonna try to do a scan, despite being pointless at this moment. Uh, okay, yeah, the system is very slow, unfortunately. As you can see, I can't really do much. And probably you guys can't hear me because of the volume of this malware, sorry about that. I'm sorry if I gave you guys an ear rape, but yeah, I didn't pay attention at the desktop audio slider, so yeah. I'm sorry about that, and there we go, we have a lot of epilepsy uh, shizer. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to do a restart because at this point I can't do a scan. Literally, it's very impossible to do a scan, so I'm just gonna restart the system. And as you guys can see, the system obviously boots up because uh, this was not an action malware. It was just the safe version of that malware, the XFE one. It was just the safe version. I also have the destructive version, but this viewer just requested me to test the non-destructive ones, so that's what I did. Now the system should restart without any hiccups. And yeah, here it said that it's updating the system. I'm not sure if that's a part of that malware, but okay. I think Windows ready. Hopefully the system is okay and this is just uh, some precautions from the OS, you know. Hopefully it's just that and the system is actually fine. Well, I'm gonna see you guys in just a few seconds after we get past this cleaning up. Oh, never mind. I think we are gonna get past this thing right now. I'm not sure. Anyways. Oh, okay. There we go. Now the system should load. And yeah, the system is still loading. Just a moment, of course. Yeah, remind me in 3 days. And there we go guys. As we can see the system is actually fine. Uh, it's a bit slow, most probably because of the Malwarebytes antivirus because as with every antivirus like Avast, AVG, basically any other antivirus that is not Windows Defender, it's actually gonna lag your system because using a lot of resources from the system itself for the best protection. So that's why it slows your system really a lot. But there we go guys, the system is fine. I'm also gonna reactivate the protection. Uh, since we finished the two tests and the second one was obviously failed but we didn't get infected because this is not a malware, I'm just gonna do a scan and I'm gonna be right back after the scan is completed so we can see if this thing actually contains malware files or not. Okay guys, I'm back so as we can see the scan is actually completed and as we can see from here uh, the malware, I mean the XFE safety malware, uh, actually has some malware components here. As we can see, it has some riskware type of malware. Uh, riskware if you hijack. I'm not sure what this malware actually is, but it seems like it is actually a malware, which is a bit odd. And as we can see, it's located in the registries of the system, which is a bit weird. As a conclusion, it might be a malware. I'm not very sure, but as we can see, the system is fine. I mean, the system visually is really okay. We can access uh, Task Manager, which, uh, which uh, just know, guys, uh, many malwares are actually deactivating the Task Manager thing. And as we can see, this one is accessible, which is really great. So as we can see, we can access Task Manager. We can also access other apps. We can access the calculator. Oh, never mind, it's installing. Oh, never mind, it, it does work. We can basically access other apps and we can probably use this system as normal. And as you guys can see, the Malwarebytes antivirus cleaned those supposed to be malware, so the system should be pretty fine right now. We shouldn't have any problems. So as a conclusion, is the XCV safety malware safe or it isn't? In my opinion, it should be, but uh, just in case, guys, you should do a scan after you run such a thing. And just know, guys, until you restart your system, your system is gonna go crazy. So if you guys want the malware to stop, like the visual effects and stuff, you are gonna have to first restart the system uh, by the restart button of your computer or by the restart button from Windows, in case you can actually go 
and restart the system. In case you can't, just do it from the button from your uh, desktop case. So that's all I had to say. In conclusion, it shouldn't be a malware, but just in case, after you run the malware and restart your system, you should most probably do a scan and make sure you have to be very, very sure that the malware is not a malware. I mean, if it has the safety name at the last, I mean, if the second name is safety of the malware, then it should be the safe version. If it has just the malware name and not the safe version uh, next to it, then it's most probably a malware and you are gonna most probably get infected if you run that. So that's all I had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also guys, let me know if you guys like my microphone boom stand. I actually wanted to make a video with my face cam because I really love this thing, it's really cool. And I really wanted this thing for a very long time and I finally have it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and see ya and stay healthy. And be careful of malwares and stay safe. Bye bye.